Rusty Wallace's car. The 29 of Robert Presley is back on the racetrack. 10 laps down. And we here's a crash, crash on the backstage. Todd Bodine in the 33 car got some damage. And the 58-52 car of Jack Sprague. And is there going to be a caution? There got to be. There has to be debris on the racetrack. But no caution at the moment. Here is both Sprague and Bodine still running on the racetrack, but a lot of crumpled fenders, and you would think that there would be debris on the racetrack, but NASCAR is showing no caution at the moment. And while we see Todd Bodine lose control, I'm sorry. There is Sprague going into the pits, trying to get some of that crumpled sheet metal uh, away from the tires to permit him to go back into competition. Boy, a great qualifying performance by Jack. Now let's take a look at the replay. It happened on the backstretch. This is what I was talking about just a moment ago. That's Todd Bodine. Might have been just a little bit of contact between Sprague and Bodine. Bodine goes around and Sprague runs into the cars. And look at these cars now. They're going to, Todd Bodine is going to save this car. He's not going to run into the inside wall. Wow. That was a great job of driving by Todd Bodine and, for that matter, Jack Spray. Now Todd Bodine is in the pits getting some. Let's go to the pits and John Kurtz. A lot of front end damage on Todd Bodine, and they were hoping for a good run today after qualifying so well. The nose is pretty much torn away. What they're going to try and do is tape it back, and Ernie Irvin just getting around Terry Labonte out on the racetrack, but the crew will have to tape what's left of the nose together. Todd will go back out and run just simply four laps. Let's go to Bill Weber. Jack Sprague sits in his car on pit road, hood up, heavy right front damage. They're going under the hood to see if they can't make some repairs under there. But Sprague, who had hoped for a very good day after a great qualifying effort, sits on pit road as the field charges by. So the work continues on the Jack Sprague and Todd Bodine cars, both hoping to get back out there. Meanwhile, it is Bobby Labonte continuing to lead Ernie Irvin, as you heard,